Today we are covering Microsoft Information Protection Administrator SC400. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Question is You recently discovered that the developers at your company emailed Azure storage keys in plain text to third parties. You need to ensure that when Azure storage keys are emailed, the emails are encrypted. Solution You configure a mail flow rule that matches a sensitive info type. Does this meet the goal? Options are yes or no. Correct answer is Yes. Next question is You recently discovered that the developers at your company emailed Azure storage keys in plain text to third parties. You need to ensure that when Azure storage keys are emailed, the emails are encrypted. Solution You create a data loss prevention DLP policy that has all locations selected. Does this meet the goal? Options are Yes or no? Correct answer is no. Next question is You recently discovered that the developers at your company emailed Azure storage keys in plain text to third parties. You need to ensure that when Azure storage keys are emailed, the emails are encrypted. Solution You create a data loss prevention DLP policy that has only the exchange email location selected. Does this meet the goal? Options are yes or no. Correct answer is no. Next question is, you are creating an advanced data loss prevention DLP rule in a DLP policy named policy 1 that will have all locations selected. Which two conditions can you use in the rule? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Choose two options. Option A. A content contains. Option B. Content is shared from Microsoft 365. Option C. Document size equals or is greater than. Option D. Attachments file extension is. Option E. Document property is. Correct answer is option A and option B. Next question is, you need to provide a user with the ability to view data loss prevention DLP alerts in the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. The solution must use the principle of least privilege. Which role should you assign to the user? Option A. Compliance Data Administrator Option B. Security Operator Option C. Compliance Administrator Option D. Security Reader Correct answer is Option D. Next question is In Microsoft Exchange Online, you have a retention policy named Policy 1 that applies a retention tag named Tag 1. You plan to remove Tag 1 from Policy 1. What will occur when you remove the tag from Policy 1? Option A The content will remain tagged and the Managed Folder Assistant will process Tag 1. Option B. Tag 1 will be removed if Policy 1 applied the tag to the content. Option C. The content will remain tagged, but the Managed Folder Assistant will ignore Tag 1. Correct answer is Option A. Next question is, you create three sensitivity labels named Sensitivity 1, Sensitivity 2 and Sensitivity 3 and perform the following actions. First, publish Sensitivity 1. Second, create an auto-labeling policy for Sensitivity 2. You plan to create a file policy named Policy 1 in Microsoft Cloud App Security. Which sensitivity labels can you apply to Microsoft SharePoint Online in Policy 1? Option A. Sensitivity 1 only. Option B. Sensitivity 1, Sensitivity 2 and Sensitivity 3. Option C. 
सेंसिटिविटी टू ओनली ऑप्शन डी सेंसिटिविटी वन एंड सेंसिटिविटी टू ओनली करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू हैव अ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वन ड्राइव फॉर बिजनेस फोल्डर दैट कंटेन्स द फाइल्स सोन इन द फॉलोइंग टेबल प्लीज सी द टेबल In Microsoft Cloud App Security, you create a file policy to automatically apply a classification. What is the effect of applying the policy? Option A: The policy will apply to only the .docs, .docx, and .txt files. The policy will classify the files within 24 hours. Option B: The policy will apply to all the files. The policy will classify only hundred files daily. Option C. The policy will apply to only the .dot .docx files. The policy will classify only hundred files daily. Option D. The policy will apply to only the .dot .docx and .dot .txt files. The policy will classify the files immediately. Correct answer is option C. 